beauties, sorry about my lack of makeup, but I tend to do my hair before my makeup. So I've let my hair air dry a little bit and I've used this Matrix Amplify uh, Root Booster as well as my wide tooth comb to part my hair where I like to keep it parted um, and to just sort of comb through everything. And again, I've let it um, towel and air dry a little bit. I believe this is a one and a half inch, it's a Paul Mitchell um, metal round brush. Um, I will link one below. I don't think it matters what brand it is. Um, and then my hair dryer. Um, and I put it on low speed, medium heat. And I begin sort of rough drying it with my hands to give it a little bit of body. Um, but still like keeping my part because it's the usual part that I keep. So continuing to rough dry and then finally bringing in my um, round brush. Um, so even though it's a bit large for my hair in the back, it still gives it good body and gets it going in the right direction. So I blow dry the back first since the hair is shortest there and just blow dry it down um, and curved so that it keeps that shape. Um, and then I'm going to start on the one side so I just kind of move the hair out of the way and get that brush and just use the round metal brush as my like straightener and as my guide to get the hair shaped the way that I want to shape it. So if I feel like it's getting a bit too curly, I will not turn the brush as much the next time that I go over it with the hair dryer. Um, and also uh, less heat or a cooler temperature will dry it more or dry it but like not style it. So you kind of have to just play with it till you find a way that works well with like the texture of your hair. So now I'm starting on the other side doing the same exact thing. I do um, my blow drying relatively quickly because my hair dries, uh, it's very thin and it tends to air dry pretty quickly and if I don't style it the way that I want it, it's just kind of going to air dry and just not have much shape. Um, so again, I up the heat if I really want to control the shape of it, and if it's doing what I want it to do, then I use the heat a little bit lower and, and more likely to use a cool temperature. So still alternating between sort of rough drying and getting volume, as well as using the round brush to get the shape that I want. Um, I'm just continuing this all over the rest of my head. Okay, once I finish blow drying, I'm going to go in with my flat iron to create a bit of a tussled wave look. Um, so I am just turning it and pulling the hair so that I'm, um, and I'm like turning it in an outward motion so that it's going back. Um, so I definitely recommend you do this on both sides in that same direction. Um, and it'll just give it a bit of curl, a bit of texture, and I'm doing some pieces from the bottom and some from the top. And the reason that I blow dried it, um, with the round brush at first is so that any of the uh, strands that we don't curl will still face under and I just feel like that looks better with fine hair. So I'm just going around my head just doing random pieces and you know letting them dry and then just picking up another random piece and curling it in that outward motion. I have to be slightly honest with you I don't really look at the back of my head very often so I'm not sure what that looks like. Uh, to be completely fair, um, but I make sure the front and sides look good, so who really cares about the back of their hair? Alright, then I go in with my Not Your Mother's Double Take Dry Texture Spray and spray this everywhere all over my hair. I love this stuff. Um, it really gives body without, oh, it's not really that great to breathe in though probably, just for the record. 
Um, but anyways, it does such a good job of giving body and like a tussled look without um, making your hair dry and crusty or like having um, like drying it out and stuff. Um, but it also doesn't make it oily either, which is something that I worry about because my hair does tend to get oily um, reasonably quickly. Um, so then I go back in and now that everything is cooled and I put the texturizing spray in and I just do like the fine details. So um, make sure that it's curled under because that tends to be more flattering. Um, flat iron any pieces that I missed. Add a little more curl in case anything sort of uh, fell out from adding the texturizing spray or just um, leaving my hair for a couple minutes. And then I straighten the bottom of it a little bit. There's that bug again. There's totally a bug in that room. Okay, so that is the finished product. Uh, then I just um, like kind of like twirl and mess with any pieces that I'm not completely thrilled with. And this works really well for my hair, which is very fine and color damaged and everything damaged. Uh, and then you can sing really loud because nobody can hear you except for the animals. And there it is. So thank you guys so much. Everything is linked below.